So uh, this little video is a little update of things that have been happening. <laughs> hey guys and welcome to another video. Uh, in this one, it's going to be like a little bit of an update. I've had a few sessions since um, our Lord and Saviour Boris Johnson has decided that we can uh, actually go fishing again. Um, so to start with, I was uh, prepping some spots um, during the lockdown period before, I think it was Wednesday the 13th, Wednesday we were allowed to go fishing. Um, where I'd been out and raked a spot, pre-baited, um, and I was proper buzzing for the next day because I, I was hopefully going to go catch a carp. So the idea in the bait prep, in the spot prep, was to make sure it was nice and clear, got some bait down, ready for the fish. Uh, but it didn't quite go as planned because um, that morning, on the on the Wednesday, I'd got down to the swim and then I looked around when sort of like the sun come up and everything, I could see what was going on. And there were swans, there were ducks, we loaded ducklings and all sorts. So in my head I was thinking, because it was just like a marginal swim that I'd, I'd sorted out, uh, it was no fishes, no fishes eating that bait, it's them ducklings and swans that had it. So uh, uh, yeah, but obviously because it's spring now, everything was popping up into life. Um, obviously all reeds and plants and weeds and that were growing. So it was obviously all the stuff that makes it a little bit harder to catch fish, like your nettles as well, because nowhere is comfortable with them about. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll uh, roll them clips now. seen this that was a bit dark there we go so if you've seen this uh, it's currently May the 12th which is the Tuesday the day before Boris, jo it, Boris Johnson lets us go fishing on the Wednesday which is tomorrow obviously uh, you know fish must eat and I've been pre in some spots probably the last time out in today I've just gone on a nice little walk see if we can find any more nice looking spots there's not much happening it's very weedy and uh, yeah, absolutely buzzing. And so things go really, really well tomorrow. It's a crack, getting up, crack of dawn. And I'm going to drop in on my little carp's peg. So uh, let's see. Okay, guys, so uh, we're finally allowed fishing. It's uh, Wednesday the 13th. You can see, the sun's just coming up, nice orange clouds and sky behind us. Um, yeah, I don't know what more to say. Drop me rig in, I baited up. I'm just waiting for a fish. <laughs> I hope to go this narrow bream. Not today. Um, when I come out yesterday to drop the last uh, bit of pre-baiting, about 100 yards up that way from me. The spot that I'm feeding up, well, that I'm fishing, um, there was three or four bream nose down, working their way down the margin. So uh, the likely is likelihood is very high for a bream. Well, it always is. Uh, there's probably 300 bream to one carp. So I've uh, got a rig dropped in just in margins and uh, oh, that. that's it. Lots of fish activity actually. Uh, lots of roach topping. Just no joy yet. It's been in the water about 20, 15 minutes or so. Maybe 20. And I'm already getting bored. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful morning though. Fresh. Fresh as a daisy it is. Little tip for getting juice out this week, can't because it's going in my bag and it's going in the fridge and it's all going in tomorrow. You was you was tin can lid, right? Push it in there. Juice comes out. 
Sweet corn stays in. The more you know. So yeah, um, after all the day prep and weather, I did eventually catch a carp uh, probably about a week later. Um, well that's a big fat thing. I put the picture on Instagram if you want to see it. Uh, the link is in the description to the Instagram page. And yeah, and then this next part is basically, well, a bit, a bit of a taste session I did. I went out with um, my feeder rod in the cage feeder, a little bit of old ground bait I found upstairs. And we're just fishing with um, just a fake piece of corn. Just cheap as chips, I just didn't want to do anything complicated and just go out and try and catch a tench. And uh, it went well. <laughs> to start with, I, I ended up pulling the fish out, but you'll see it in the footage. Uh, I ended up uh, leaving the session early because uh, I just kept getting mugged off. The water was fairly clear, but there was a bit of, bit of dirt in it. But where I was chucking out to, I kept getting little tiny taps on rod, but the way, you know, becoming anything. So uh, after it, not evolving, I went to another look and you could see tension there, there were three, four, maybe five at one bit when it was getting a bit darker and they were just milling around where my bait was and not, not actually touching it, so they were proper flipping us off, mugging us off big time, so uh, I ended up giving up on them, <laughs> on that session. I didn't have me go for one, but I've up my first tench. It's fighting really well. Awesome. Oh, that's just a little guy. Typical tench scrap. Really jerky and digging into the weeds on the bottom. <laughs> you know what, I had me uh, GoPro recording when I got down, I was like, you know what, this looks bitey down here. I had on for about 20 minutes. Turn it off to try and save some battery. And then get a bite, which is really typical for having a camera on. You only get bites when you're not using one. So, lovely little male. Go on. Little band. Well, we're off the mark and fish is a fish. It looks tiny in my net. Awesome. I'm getting one hooked and I'll uh, let you have a butchers. You see me pop up guard in there. Awesome. Okay, so we've been here about half hour. I've got me first fish. Lovely little male tench. Really big proud fins on him. Fair account of himself on the uh, little puddle chucker rod, but uh, yeah, it's mission accomplished so far. I uh, got rest of Eden to go, so I'm expecting probably a couple more because uh, this one came really fast to be fair. Well, I'm in the fishiest spot I've ever seen, so I'm quite confident here. We're getting chucked back. quick run over on this it's basically just a little helicopter style rig a small 20 gram cage feeder um, what I'm doing differently to what I'd normally do is that's a piece of pop-up corn so a piece of plastic corn on a hair rig then I slid down squash it back on and a little bit under the, the hook I've got a little piece of putty which is there to count, counterbalance the corn, just in case it lifts the hook up. Well, I know it, the hook's enough to pull it down, it just keeps it in place. And uh, it's worth for that fish. Don't want to make too much noise because we're in a really nice little peaceful spot here. I'm just flicking out to a little push on the far side. And that's where that bite come from. 
Right there, on the money. We'll fill it down to the bottom. Get the line set. Get my rod positioned, like so. And now we're fishing again. That on top of my box so dogs don't come and eat it. It's going to be the first time recently that dogs come and eat my bait. And uh, let's hope for another fish. I think there's a chance we're actually ending this early. Just got really dark with clouds. Obviously, it's windy as hell anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm about three quarters of a mile away from car. Because <laughs> uh, I was expecting to have a, quite a nice evening because sun was out. Still a bit breezy, but I find a nice quiet spot. And uh, well, it's got dark and start feeling raindrops on my hands now. So uh, I'm going to uh, probably head back. <laughs> <laughs> and it quick because it's got dark as you can tell on camera. Oh, look at the baby! So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that little update was a little bit interesting for you, a little bit of fishy in the, these run times. And um, yeah, I'd just like to say, comment and subscribe, do what the hell you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't go in the bath. Goodbye. I like breams. <laughs>